Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel GSAPUC Mysore. This is the second session of the 10th chapter Digital Electronics. In the last session, we discussed the basics of this chapter that is uh, we saw the different types of gates available that is there are seven different gates, logic gates and uh, we dealt with the uh, logical diagram, truth table and uh, logical expression of these seven different logic gates. In today's session, we will be dealing with the universal property of a NAND gate. I already told you that NAND and NOR are called as the universal gates. These NAND and NOR are called as universal gates because uh, using these two gates we can realize all the other types of gates that is we can realize all the other basic gates like AND gate, OR gate, NOT gate uh, along with that we can also realize the combinational gates like XOR and XNOR. So in today's session we will be seeing how we can realize or how we can construct these basic gates with using only NAND gate. So let's begin with the very first realization that is not using NAND. Here we are going to realize a NOT gate using NAND gate only. So the uh, using NAND gate in the sense I know that NAND gate is having only two inputs is having two inputs and only one output. So these are the two inputs of NAND gate and this is the output of a NAND gate. So in order to realize or in order to construct the NOT gate using NAND, what we have to do is we have to short both the inputs like this and one common terminal will be taken out as the input. So this common terminal can be named as A, B, C, D, X, Y, Z, P, Q, anything. And the output of this NAND gate Y will be equal to A bar. This is how we are going to realize a NOT gate using NAND only. So let us try to understand this with the help of a truth table. The truth table of a NAND gate is this, like we write it here. The truth table of a NAND gate is if A and B are the two inputs and Y is the output. There are four different combinations of input 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. And the output of this NAND gate will be equal to 1 only when only when uh, that is the output of a NAND gate will be equal to 0 when on, uh, only when all of the inputs are equal to 1. In all other different conditions the output will be equal to 1. So according to this truth table here I have shorted both the inputs. If I am going to give 0 as the input for this NAND gate that is both the inputs of this NAND gate will be equal to 0 then the output of this NAND gate will be equal to 1. That is, I am giving 0 as the input and I am getting the inversion of the input that is I am realize the NOT gate. Similarly, if I am going to give 1 as the input, I am giving 1 as the input, then for both the inputs of this NAND gate, the logic input 1 is going. So, according to the truth table, if both the input values are equal to 1, then the output will be equal to 0. So, if the logic input is equal to 1, then the output is equal to 0. If the input is equal to 0, then the output is equal to 1. We can easily tell that we can realize a NOT gate by just shorting two input terminals of a NAND gate. By doing that, the output will be the inversion of the input signal. So, using one single NAND gate, we can construct a NOT gate in this manner. So, this is the NAND gate using which we have realized a NOT gate. Now, let us see how to realize a AND gate using NAND only and using NAND only. So, you have to construct a circuit which gives me an output of Y is equal to A dot B using only NAND gate but I know that the output of a NAND gate is A dot B whole bar. So what we are going to do is we are going to give two NAND gates that is we are going to take two NAND gates by using two NAND gates I can easily realize a AND gate. We also know that A double bar is equal to A, B double bar is equal to B. Similarly 
a dot b double bar if i am going to consider ab as a single term ab double bar will be equal to ab only because we are having this rule boolean rule that is a double bar is equal to a b double bar is equal to b that is double complement gets cancelled so i want a output of y is equal to a dot b with the gates uh, that is a nand gate whose output is equal to a dot b so what i can do is i can give the two inputs a and b to the first nand gate the output of this first nand gate is a dot b whole bar so if i am going to invert this again then i'll be getting a dot b double bar which is same as a dot b which is the logical expression for a and gate so how to invert this input just short both the input terminals of an and gate and here i'll be getting output of y is equal to a dot b double bar which is nothing but y is equal to a dot b so this is the final output of a and gate that is by using two nand gates we can easily realize a and gate now we'll see how to realize a or gate using nand only but before that let us also write the truth table of this not not gate and and gate if a is the input for a not gate and y is the output for a not gate since uh, there is only one input i am having only two different combination one is zero the other one is one then when the input is equal to zero the output is equal to one and when the input is equal to one the output will be equal to zero this we have already checked now let us see how the output will be produced for the different combinations of input in a and it a b are the two inputs and y is the output i am having four different combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 well so let us take the help of this truth table and try to realize uh, the output of this uh, and gate using different uh, uh, for different combinations of input if i am going to give 0 and 0 as the input for this and nand gate let us consider this and gate or nand gate only when both the inputs of a nand gate is equal to 0 if both the input of a nand gate is equal to 0 then the output is equal to 1 that is the output will be equal to 1 but that one is applied as the input for the second nand gate let us consider this as the first nand gate and this is the second nand gate but uh, to the second nand gate both the inputs are shorted in the sense this same one will be appearing to both the inputs of this second nand gate then if both the inputs are equal to 1 then the output of that nand gate will be equal to 0 so when both a and b this is the fine this is the input what i am applying to this particular circuit and this is the final output so when i am applying zero to both the inputs of this circuit then i'll be getting a final output of zero so this is the first combination let us check with the second combination when i am applying zero as one input and one as the other input that is when i am going to give zero uh, uh, for a and one as the input for b according to the nand gate if a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1 then the output of that nand gate will be equal to 1 so the output of first nand gate is equal to 1 when a value is equal to 0 and b value is equal to 1 here for the second nand gate as usual the inputs are shorted so the same one will be appearing across both the inputs so when both the inputs are equal to 1 the output will be equal to 0 so for the second combination when a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1 the output will be equal to 0 clear now let us check for the third combination for the third combinations of the input that is when a is equal to 1 b is equal to 0 according to the truth table of a nand gate when a value is equal to 1 and b value is equal to 0 the output of that nand gate will be equal to 1 so the first nand gate output will be equal to 1 similarly uh, as in the previous condition uh, when both the values are equal to 1 the output will be equal to 0 so let me write that here coming to the last combination of the input when both the inputs are equal to 1 that is a value is equal to 1 and b value is equal to 
according to the truth table of an AND gate, when both A and B values are equal to 1, the output is equal to 0. So, the output of a first NAND gate is equal to 0. Now, the same 0 will be appearing as input for both the input terminals of a second NAND gate. So, when the inputs of a NAND gate are 0, the output will be equal to 1. So, the output of this, the final output of this circuit, when both the inputs are equal to 1, is equal to 1. If you look into the truth table of this, this is the exact truth table of an AND gate. So, by using two NAND gates, we can realize an AND gate by connecting these two NAND gates in this manner. So, like this, we can easily realize or construct an AND gate using only NAND. Now, let us see how to construct an OR gate using a NAND gate. Now, we have to construct the OR gate using NAND only. The output of a OR gate, that is the Boolean expression of our OR gate, will be equal to A plus B. So, we have to construct the circuit such that the output of that circuit will be equal to A plus B. For that, we have to use the circuit in this manner. This is one OR gate, sorry, NAND gate. This is another NAND gate and we are going to combine these two NAND gates. <coughs> that is, we are going to give the output of these two NAND gates to as the input for another NAND gate to give a common output terminal. If I am going to consider this as A and B, that is the two inputs, then this will be considered as Y. Let me call the names of these NAND gates as 1, 2 and 3. So here, if you forget about the second NAND gate and the third NAND gate and just concentrate on the first NAND gate, this is acting like a NOT gate. So if A is the input for this NAND gate, the output of this gate will be equal to A bar because this is acting like a NOT gate. Just now we saw we can easily realize a NOT gate using only NAND by just shorting the two input terminals of a NAND gate and connecting that to a common input terminal. Similarly, if B is the input, then if you look at the second NAND gate, this is acting like a NOT gate. So, the output of the second NAND gate will be equal to B bar. Now, A bar and B bar are the two input for the third NAND gate. If A and B are the two inputs, then the output will be equal to A dot B whole bar. Now, the inputs are A bar and B bar. So, the output will be equal to A bar dot B bar whole bar. Now, let us realize this or let us simplify this using De Morgan's theorem, what we have studied in our first year. According to De Morgan's theorem, the product of complement is equal to sum of individual complements. So, this is the whole product. So, sorry, this is the whole complement and this is the product. So, when I am going to split that A double bar in place of dot, I will be getting plus B double bar. But we know that A double bar is equal to A, B double bar is equal to B or Z double bar is equal to Z. So, accordingly, A double bar plus B double bar can be simply written as A plus B, which is same as the expression of a OR gate. So, by using... Uh, NAND gates or by collecting NAND gates in this manner, we can easily construct an OR gate. So, in order to construct an OR gate uh, with the help of NAND gate, we need three different NAND gates. So, by connecting them in this manner, we will be getting an uh, output Y is equal to A plus B. Coming to the true table, A and B are the two inputs, Y is the output. I am having four different combinations, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So, for these four different combinations, I have to see the output. <coughs> if I am going to give 0 as uh, the input uh, in the terminal A and uh, B value is also equal to 0. Since this is acting like a NOT gate, when the inputs are equal to 0, the output will be equal to 1. Similarly, when the input is 0, the output will be equal to 1. For the third NAND gate, the inputs are 1. When both the input for a NAND gate is equal to 1, then the output will be equal to 0. So, the final output when A and B values are equal to 0, it is 0 only. Now, let us check for the second condition. For the second condition, A value is equal to 0, B value is equal to 1. When 
the inputs of an AND gate is equal to 0, the output is equal to 1. Similarly, when the inputs of an AND gate is equal to 1, the inversion of that, that is, the output is equal to 0. For the third NAND gate, inputs are 1 and 0. If you look into the true table of an AND gate, if inputs are 1 and 0, the output is equal to 1. So, second combination, the output is equal to 1. Similarly, if you are going to try for the different input combinations, that is, when A is equal to 1, B is equal to 0, or when both the inputs are is equal to 1, I will be getting a output like this. That is, this true table is same as the true table of a NOR gate, sorry, of a OR gate. So, you can easily construct a OR gate using NAND gates only by connecting the NAND gates in this manner. Clear? There is another way or another method of uh, realizing or constructing a OR gate using only NAND. So, the final expression what I want is y is equal to a plus b. So, what we can do is you can just place two complement bars on the uh, expression above the expression what you want. So, a plus b double bar is same as a plus b. So, uh, it does not alter the expression. So, next what I am going to do is I am going to retain the upper bar as it is and I will be solving this second bar using D modern's theorem. That is the sum of complement is equal to product of individual complements. That is A bar dot B bar. Now I can realize this using NAND only. How is that? I am having two different variables A and B. Right? I am having A but I want A bar. And I am having B, I want B bar. But just now I told you that when we want to construct a NOT gate using NAND only, then we are just going to short both the inputs of a NAND gate, then we will be getting the inversion, then we will be getting an output where it is the inversion of the input. So, when I am having A, I am just going to pass that through a NAND gate where inputs are shorted, then the output of this NAND gate is equal to A bar. Similarly, I am having B, but I want B bar. So, what I am going to do is, I am just going to short both the inputs of a NAND gate and connect it to a common terminal B. So, the output of this NAND gate is B bar. Now, I am having A bar and B bar. When I am going to pass that through another NAND gate as inputs, then I will be getting an output of A bar dot B bar whole bar and the simplification of that term was already written here. Let me write it again. A double bar plus B double bar. That is simplify using De Morgan's theorem. So, A double bar is just equal to A and B double bar is just equal to B. So, A plus B is nothing but the logical expression of an OR gate. So, if you compare these two, both are same. So, this is how you are going to realize a OR gate using NAND only. Now, let us see how to realize a XOR gate that is exclusive OR gate using NAND only. Now, we have to realize a circuit uh, which will be acting like a XOR gate. So, the expression for an XOR gate is A XOR B which is nothing but A B bar plus A bar B. So, for that you have to uh, take four different NAND gates. I am constructing or by connecting the output of one NAND gate to the other NAND gate, then you can easily realize or construct a XOR gate. So, the construction of XOR gate using NAND only will be like this. This is one NAND gate. This is another NAND gate. Then we are going to short these two terminals and connect that as input for these NAND gates and the output of these NAND gates will be connected as input for the fourth NAND gate. If these are considered as 1, 2, 3 and 4 and the input of these NAND gates are equal to A and B and the output will be equal to 1. So, now let us try to uh, understand the circuit. For the first NAND gate, the inputs are A and B. Then the output of this first NAND gate will be equal to A dot B whole bar. Clear? The input for the second NAND gate is 1. One of the input for the second NAND gate is A. And the other input for the second NAND gate, this output, the that is the output of first NAND gate is connected, is taken 
two different branches and uh, those are applied as one of the inputs for 2 and 3. So, the other input for the second NAND gate is A dot B whole bar. Similarly, for the third NAND gate, the inputs are B is directly given and the other input is A dot B whole bar. So, the output of the second NAND gate is equal to, if I am going to consider this as one term and this as one term, this as the other term, this dot this whole bar, that is A dot A B bar whole bar. Similarly, the output of this third NAND gate is B dot A B bar whole bar. Let us simplify this and uh, we will come up with the fourth NAND gate. The inputs are, sorry, the output of second NAND gate is A dot A B bar whole bar. Let us simplify this using a De Morgan's theorem. So, product of complement is equal to sum of individual complements. A bar, A B double bar. One bar was already there. When I solved that using De Morgan's theorem, I got A B double bar. So, I will be left with A bar plus A B. So, this is the output of the second NAND gate that is A bar plus A B. Similarly, the output of a third NAND gate, the output of third NAND gate is B dot A B bar whole bar. Let us simplify this again using De Morgan's theorem. So, it is B bar plus A B double bar. But we already know that A double bar is equal to A, Z double bar is equal to A. So, the answer is B bar plus A B. So, this is the output of a third NAND gate. Let me write it here. It is B bar plus A B. Now, these are the two inputs for the fourth NAND gate. That is, one of the input is A bar plus A B and the second input is B bar plus A B. So, the output of this fourth NAND gate is this dot this whole bar. That is, the output of a fourth NAND gate is a bar plus a b this is one term dot b bar plus a b this is another term whole bar let us solve this again using de morgan's theorem then i'll be getting a bar plus a b whole bar dot zero kade i'll be getting plus b bar plus a b whole bar now again let us simplify uh, this using de morgan's theorem the sum of complements is equal to product of individual complements that is a double bar dot a b bar this is one term plus b double bar dot a b bar now let us furthermore simplify this again using de morgan's theorem and a double bar is equal to a b double bar is equal to b so a into I am simplifying this sum of comp sorry product of complement is equal to sum of individual complements. So, A into A bar plus B bar plus similarly B into A bar plus B bar B into A bar plus B bar. So, let us multiply this A into A bar plus A into B bar plus A bar into B plus b into b bar but we know that a a bar b b bar z z bar values are equal to 0 so just we will be neglecting these two terms and i will left with a b bar plus a bar b a b bar plus a bar b which is the final expression what we are looking for in order to construct a xor gate so a b bar plus a r b so finally we can tell that by constructing a NAND gate or by using four NAND gate, we can easily realize a XOR gate by connecting these NAND gates in this manner. So, uh, coming to the root table of this XOR gate, uh, A and B are the two inputs, Y is the open and the different combinations are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And coming to the output of this uh, circuit, if A and B are the two inputs, I will be showing only two different combinations. Uh, if A and B are the two inputs, here the first NAND gate inputs are A and B. So, 0, 0. Let me consider the first combination that is both A and B values are 0. 0, 0. 
and the output of a first NAND gate when both values are equal to 0, the output will be equal to 1. So, this one will be appearing here as one of the input and the other input is directly given from A which is equal to 0. So, when the inputs are 0 and 1, the output of the second NAND gate is equal to 1. Similarly, this one is directly applied as one of the input for this third NAND gate and the other input for the third NAND gate is directly coming from B. So, the other input is equal to 0. So, when the inputs are 1 and 0, again the output will be equal to 0. And these outputs that is the output of NAND gates 2 and 3 are connected as inputs to the NAND gate 4. So, when the inputs are equal to 1 and 1, the output is equal to 0. Let me write that here, the output is equal to 0. Coming to the second combination, when A value is equal to 0 and B value is equal to 1. Let us check what will be the different uh, output values in different stages of the NAND gate. Here, A value is given as one of the input for the first NAND gate and B value is given as another input for the NAND gate. So, when A, uh, when the input of a NAND gate is 0 and 1, the according to the true table, the output will be equal to 1. And this 0 is directly connected as one of the input for the second NAND gate and this 1 is connected as input for the second NAND gate. Similarly, B is directly connected and this is being connected as other input. So, coming to the second NAND gate, when the inputs are 0 and 1, the output is equal to 1. Coming to the third NAND gate, when the inputs are 1 and 1, the outputs will be equal to 0. Now, these are the two inputs for the fourth NAND gate. When the output, sorry, when the inputs are 1 and 0, the output is equal to 1. So, for the second combination, the output will be equal to 1. Let us check the last condition that is when both the input values are equal to 1. Let us check that when both the values are equal to 1. The input for these, uh, the input for this first NAND gate is equal to 1 and 1. So, the output according to the true table when both the inputs are equal to 1 then it is equal to 0. This one is directly applied as one of the input for A and this is 0 which is shared with both second and the third NAND gate. This one is directly connected as another input for the third NAND gate. So, when one of the input is 1 and the other input is equal to 0 according to the truth table of a NAND gate, output is equal to 1. Similarly, coming to this, when one of the input is 0, the other input is 1, the output is equal to 1 according to the truth table. Coming to the fourth NAND gate, when both, both of the inputs are equal to 1, the output will be equal to 0. So, for the last condition it is 0 and do check for the third com combination of the input when A value is equal to 0, sorry, when A value is equal to 1 and B value is equal to 0, we will be getting a output of this circuit as 1. So, by using 4 NAND gates, we can easily construct a XOR gates, clear? So, like this, uh, using only NAND gates, we can construct all of the basic gates like AND gate, OR gate, NOT gate and also one combination logic gates that is XOR gates. We can also construct XNOR gate using only NAND that is by connecting another gate in front of this that is by shorting the two input terminals of that NAND gate and giving that as a common terminal for this output then you can easily realize a XNOR gate using NAND only. Okay. Uh, let me conclude this session at this point. I hope you are very much clear with these topics. In my next session, I will be coming with realization of basic gates using NOR only or the universal property of a NOR gate. Thank you.